In this video I'm going to show you a technique that I like to use to create new sound effects and new samples. And so this is not as much about the sound effect that I create as it is about the workflow that I'm using. So let's just start with a sampler. That's what I like to use to change raw recordings and create variations of them. And so let's just input a random sample here. Increase the volume here in the Ableton sampler. And now we are playing it at the original pitch. What I like to use is the pitch envelope. Just play around with it to create a sound with a bit more attack. Let's bounce this version. And let's also create a version that's at a lower pitch. Bounce this as well. Now maybe also one that's really low, so we get a nice interesting tail. Bounce this as well. Play around with some other sound. This one. Let's bounce this as well. And now we can already start just layering these sounds now. Group all of this, reduce the volume. Maybe pitch this one down a bit more. Maybe reverse this one because we have a really audible pitch movement in here. So maybe use this as sort of a whoosh. Increase the volume. So maybe let's now start adding some more synthetic elements. So just using Whitel here, create a few punchy elements here. So just put this LFO on the pitch in envelope mode and maybe a sine wave here. So let's bounce this. Maybe make another version of this with more layers, more oscillators. Use the same LFO on the pitch for these as well. Maybe pitch this one up and this one down one octave. And give the higher ones a bit of a unison, a few voices. And clean this up with a filter. So we can use the same LFO on this on the cutoff and just route everything to this filter. Here with the compression and distortion. Bounce this as well. And maybe create another version where we just kind of reverse this LFO with the pitch going up like this, like a small riser. Maybe at a lower pitch. And let's bounce this as well. Now we can go back to our group, add a few more audio tracks so we can layer these samples in there. So these are, again, our punchy attack samples. So we're going to put them roughly here, layer them on top of the others. And I don't really want this tail here for both of these. So I'm just going to fade this out a bit. So now we have this. And this one we can, I guess, use to emphasize this here. Duplicate this and create a lower version. Let's just pitch this down, layer it on top of this. Or make these a bit quieter. Let's maybe do a bit of processing on this. I actually just want to bring out the tail a bit more. So I'm going to compress it, also boost it into the soft clip. So now let's bounce this. And now we can actually just use another sampler and put the sample in there. And now we can do very similar processing to what we did in the beginning. Pitch envelope and just play around with this if we get some interesting sounds here. So let's just bounce this version. This one as well. And maybe we can get a really low-pitched one. So let's bounce this one as well. At least in the Ableton sampler, we can also play around with this section up here. So bounce this version as well. And now we can just start layering this stuff and see if we get some interesting results. 
Adjust the layering a bit. I think I'm gonna pitch this one down a bit. Actually also fade these out. And maybe go back here and just create a different version. And just bounce this. And now add this one down here. Now some light processing on the group again. And essentially now you can just keep going and going or just, you know, start from the beginning and use different samples, uh, use different synthesized elements and just keep layering and layering. And you can get really interesting sounds that you probably wouldn't have come up with otherwise.